Hi, I'm Mr. Miyagi, and this is Mr. Miyagi's Workshop. Well, today I'm here because of John, one of my subscribers that sent me a little notification, a little comment. I screwed up on that video uh, when parked episode seven about lining up the cam. Well, I really messed up on this one. I'll show you here. This little uh, notch that is supposed to be up at 90, up and straight up and down. I had it offset 90 degrees and John caught it. And I got to thank John for this because I just put that motor in this bike and I probably would have had a heck of a time starting it up. So we're going to pull the motor out of this, put it in the stand and pop the top off and change the camera around and make sure it is right. So thanks again, John. Appreciate it, man. Sometimes I mean, even I mess up big time. So let's get to it. Okay, what I've done now is I've rotated that notch. Let me grab the other cam so you can see it a little bit. I rotated that notch right there upright so that it is 90 degrees or in line with the crank and the cam and everything is all in line straight down. So this is exactly top dead center. And there's a little indicating dot on the other side that you can line up with this surface over here. Uh, that'll help you too. You know, sometimes yeah, I even screw up. You know, it's just one of those things. Yeah, I'm frustrating myself. But, you know, it's a fairly easy fix. We'll put these cam bearings back on. Now, one thing I did do to get it to this stage to loose, you definitely have to take off the tensioner. Take this tensioner off and that'll loosen up the chain enough to where you can move everything around and get it to where you need it to be. So we've got this in line. And what you can also do is you can take a straight edge from the center of your your crank to the center of your of your cam and you can also look that there's a little a keyway there that you can line up with let me get that out of here show you on this one that little keyway right there you can line that up should be directly on top and then we just slide the bearings back together. Make sure this head is kind of cleaned up. This uh, um, rocker area is cleaned up. Now you're not hitting these hard. All I am doing is just very lightly tapping on these. Now these cams will float back and forth a little bit, but not much. But one thing that you want to make sure, you want to put these bearings, and I'll show a little closer up here, uh, right on the edge on the inside, so that when you put your caps on, that these slide in, and they, there's enough room for that lip to slide inside that groove area. What I'm talking about here is, you can see right here, there's a little bit of a lip. Those bearings 
that surface right here should be back here so that you have a, a nice gap around both sides here. So when that cap goes on there, there's that it hold that's basically what holds everything in place. So once again, we're trying to get this notch in line with the uh, with the crankshaft. And you want to make sure, I don't know if you can see down in there, the pistons are at total top dead center. <clears throat> I will literally look down inside the spark plug hole and watch that piston come up and down. Now I showed you how to make a stop and uh, on a few videos back you can use that. Myself, I, I prefer to do a visual. Since I've already had the flywheel marked and the alignment here all done. So basically now all it is is to button it back up after making sure this surface area is good and clean. Okay, so that was my quick fix for the cam alignment. I had to pull it out, pop the rocker box off, adjust the cam the way it's supposed to be. Um, if I hadn't made the mistake, oh, you guys wouldn't have a video. Anyway, <laughs> uh, my stupidity, your gain, hopefully. I always check that beforehand. I'm not sure why I let that slide, but hey, that's what happened. Anyway, I'm going to leave the top clamp off here, frame mount, uh, mount off, because I want to check the torque in the morning. I like to let them sit overnight after I torque them, and then I'll check everything again. That should be a big deal. Um, and I'll put the exhaust back on, kind of get it lined up. But we're going to move on to uh, a video for finishing off the front end and fixing that. And then after that, I probably will do a wiring breakdown. So stay tuned for those. So <laughs> uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget the ringy dingy button. And if there's any comments, like John did... <laughs> caught me in it and we put them in either in down below in the comment section or send them to me at uh, teamiyagi at hotmail.com I'd really appreciate it so anyway y'all be safe out there hopefully to see you on the road so this is Mr. Miyagi signing off ciao